All right, here's a, going back to Blood and Candle Smoke, a song called Criminology. And I came out of the closet a little bit on this record as a criminologist. Prior to being a, a songwriter, I, had, I got a master's in uh, sociology, law, criminology. Young kid before his time, and they sent me off to West Africa during the Biafran War to student teach over there. My eyes were opened. I came of age in West Africa, read a lot of Graham Greene, and started playing guitar over there. And sitting in the back of these highlight bars where people like King Suniade was playing and Sir Victory Wayful, very heavy cats. And uh, <coughs> I decided I wanted to be a songwriter because academic life was really boring. <laughs> These people were, the subject matter was, I realized that their heads were not on the street. They were going to be in their office the rest of their life with a gun at the head, publish or perish, and it was just a drag. <laughs> So I ended up on Skid Row in Vancouver a year later in Honky Tonks, playing Hank Williams and learning the trade all the way. And what I was looking for in criminology, I found in music, up close and personal. So, so this song talks about that. I wrote this for my wife, telling her all the times I've had a gun pointed at me with malice, West Africa, Vancouver, and onward. And uh, it's got some very nice, high life style Nigerian guitar on it. On the record, we had the great band uh, Calexico and a lot of great players. And I also sing it in a high-pitched voice to kind of relate to a younger audience. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Without alienating an older audience. Because I've noticed that all the young folk singers and folk monsters sing up here. You know, like, for no reason. And I don't mean sexual content or anything. They just sing up here. It's his style, like... I come from Seattle. <laughs> this is a weird car chain. <laughs> That's indie rock. <laughs> and I can dig it, sonically. And, you know, I wanted to kind of tune into it, but I don't hear the song, so... They got the 500 best songs Rolling Stone put out two weeks ago. 98% of them were written before 1970. I just did the math. And so it just means that music doesn't suck, it's just different. I didn't come here to lecture you, Rono. Uh, we were talking, Ripley and I were talking on before I went on the air today, and I was thinking, why? why what are these kids missing? They're more into the sonic nature than they are about a song that you can play on the guitar and just blow people away. And she said the radio has changed so vastly in 50 years, but these guys, Doug Somm or Bob Dylan, you know, they stayed up late at night listening to music that was coming on an AM station a thousand miles away or from the Grand Ole Opry, from the border, and they were hearing blues and jazz and Hank Williams. Kids don't do that now, but they gotta search it out themselves. Wow, now that I've exhausted that talk. <laughs> So this is criminology. It's also a sing-along. You did so well on the da 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 that there's a word to this one. Criminology. Welcome to my world. Thank you. 
Augusta died, I was playing in a lumber camp, British, Prince George, British Columbia. And right down the hall were some friends of mine who were Haida Indians. We had been drinking. When Picasso died, they began to howl for hours. And I knew there was some savage connection, because Picasso was a heavy cat. Amen. 